I guess we take a slightly different approach to low back pain than many other people. Quite often the message as soon as someone gets a little bit sore in the back is to stay clear of weight, stop doing certain activities and we kind of take a, I guess, the opposite approach. We exclude any pathology in the first instance by having a full consultant review and an MRI scan. This allows us to work through on a supervised basis a safe approach to strengthen the lower back. Well we work quite closely with the physio. We then try and then take them through 12 weeks of resistance training essentially. One aspect is changing the way they move, increasing their strength, changing posture, um, but we also want to address the individual aspects of so that, that person's pain. We're fortunate to have the facility of having sports med consultants and rehab coaches. From the very first treatment session, they know what they're working towards. If we're looking at movement, we want to try and uh, achieve really good movement patterns. We want to try and reduce their pain or give them a functional level that they've previously uh, focused on as a target and I think that's the best way to do it um, along the way addressing all the emotional aspect of, that goes along with, with back pain. The benefits of using uh, a, weight, a weight lifting approach as opposed to the more passive or uh, recumbent where you're lying down doing the approach such as say for example yoga or pilates is that in a lot of people it's this lumbar extensor weakness or the weakness of your back to go from a bent position into an upright position is what needs to be dealt with in terms of your pain. And the best way to do that and the safest way to do that is under supervision in the gym. Some people will take a little bit longer to get to a stage where they're ready to get in the gym and, and lift some weights. Some people um, won't have access to a gym and so we'll, we'll tailor the program around that. We have basically three options. People can come here and train with us under the supervision of a, a strength and conditioning coach and a physiotherapist. And we offer that as group sessions three times a week. They can train in their own gym or in, in some cases we'll find that people can, um, can get enough out of the training at home. It's holistic and that's where the evidence would suggest so it's not just addressing a biomechanical approach we're also addressing the other elements of back pain that we, we know are common and we're not on one particular side of the fence we're very open and we try and let the patient direct our treatment and yes we get them to lift heavy weights but that's not necessarily a red flag and people shouldn't be afraid of lifting and it only encourages better movement patterns. We see patients from in, who are in fact post-operative, we see patients who have uh, disc pathology which has been stable and which they're unable to manage with and we see people who have the so-called normal scan who don't have a disc on their scan yet have ongoing chronic back pain. The vast majority of the people who have come into the back pain program would have been uh, in pain for longer than three months. It would be affecting their work, their sport, their day-to-day -day activities. More often than not, they've seen a lot of other people before they get to us and a lot of different messages. So we look after the very mechanical and strength-based aspects of their low back pain. And one of the positives that we get out of this as well is as they see themselves getting a little bit stronger, it helps them get a little bit more confidence in their back and become a little bit more trusting of it, which is, is sometimes one of the issues early on that contributes to their low back pain. This is a very, very much an, an educational process. It's given them tools to make themselves better.